Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion video where today we've got a lot of news to cover as we've been missing a few, sorry about that. But today we're going to be talking about a trailer that was shown at CinemaCon. Now unfortunately, this has not been shown to the public, so I can't show you any footage of it or stuff, but I will be describing things that happen in it according to some reports, including the confirmation of Dilophosaurus's return. So before we begin this video, I do want to remind you all to hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and also please, um, leave a like on this video as it will help the channel out even more. But now, with that, let's just get into the video. So Dilophosaurus is confirmed. Yes, this was shown in the trailer near the end, apparently, where it was shown popping its frill. Now. No one has said whether or not it's an adult version or around the same size as the one in Jurassic Park. I'm hoping that we get to see multiples as well as an adult because that will be amazing. I want to see a 10 foot tall Dilophosaurus kill someone just like they did in the novel. I know that's a little violent and stuff because, well, intestines being cut open and stuff, but you know, it's fine. But yes, we finally have confirmation. Like, we knew it was coming, guys. They've been foreshadowing it since the, since Jurassic World with the hologram, Fallen Kingdom they did with um, it making some sounds in the opening for Fallen Kingdom, as well as showing up as a taxidermy in the Lockwood Estate. Like, it's gonna happen. Now, will it be happening as we have seen it foreshadowed with it facing a Velociraptor? We don't know yet, but we know it's coming back. But there were many other things shown in the trailer. First, let's talk about one that was very interesting about the Malta location, which showed Claire Deering actually being chased on rooftops by the Atrociraptors, which will also, does also explain the um, leaked images of Atrociraptors and Owen Grady, well, Chris Pratt and um, Malta. There was also some footage in the trailer showing him chasing an Atrociraptor, which is, is going to be awesome, let me tell you. But it's interesting. We haven't seen any images of, like, Bryce Dallas Howard in, like, many of the sets, actually. Which is interesting. Maybe she's got a really important role that they just don't want to tease. Like, but this shows us that we're going to have her being chased by the Atrociraptors on rooftops in Malta, which is going to be very, very interesting. Also, speaking of Owen chasing dinosaurs on his motorcycle, apparently... Apparently, in the trailer, it also shows him chasing down dinosaurs in the snow with his motorcycle, which, I gotta say, he's gotta have some mad skills with that motorcycle, let me tell you. And also, we get the possible confirmation of return of Brachiosaurus as well, although some reports have been saying it's a Patasaurus, and they are in the snow, with Maisie actually looking at them, which, this may be an explanation to the very first image that was ever shown for Jurassic World Dominion. Because before the animatronics, before all of that, the first image that was ever shown was Colin Trevorrow at working on his computer at home with an image showing um, Isabel's character, Maisie, in the snow with a bicycle, which it appears. And we can't see what else is on the frame, which apparently now we know is Brachiosaurus or Apatosaurus. We don't know which one. I'm hoping it's Brachiosaurus because well, we know that they were actually saved, though everybody seems to forget about that, and I want to see that Brachiosaurus one more time. But more news about it show talks about Ellie Sattler's character, which apparently she's shown in a cage that's filling with water, and it's revealed to be inside of a laboratory, which, um, yeah, it appears that she's gotten into some trouble with Biosyn, it seems like. It's it's probably Biosyn, and probably Lewis Dotson is killing her for maybe discovering something she wasn't supposed to. Because we have seen a lot of images of um, the main characters with Biosyn vehicles and equipment, so it could be like maybe they were working together, like Biosyn's tricking them or something, like maybe they wanted to work together to clean up the mess of dinosaurs and stuff, but then it turns out, double cross of course, Ellie finds out, and Dodson finds out she found out about something, like maybe she discovered that he created the Atrociraptors, or 
Maybe he, she discovers the Giganotosaurus was created by him, something like that. And then she is being killed or attempted to be killed by Dodson in this way, which actually the drowning of her is actually a very nice nod to the Lost World novel, as in the novel, Dodson attempts to kill Sarah Harding on their way to Isla Sorna by throwing her over a boat where she nearly drowns. She survives, obviously, but he nearly does kill her by it, which is a nice nod, and it's kind of scary, actually, that she's getting the most traumatic moments, apparently, again, which everybody seems to forget. But back to the trailer's news. Apparently, we also get some Triceratops action. Ooh, very nice where apparently it's shown attacking a jeep, which we haven't seen that with a herbivore or something since the Lost Road, with the Triceratops itself as it rammed into a tent and a jeep. And we get some Mosasaurus action as well, where it's shown rampaging. It doesn't, it doesn't say what it's doing. Some reports have shown it being attacking a helicopter, which is interesting. Wonder how that's gonna go. We don't know yet, but we will eventually, since this may actually be the main trailer. If it is, this is going to be an awesome trailer. And finally, the last thing we're shown or told about the trailer is that characters such as Ian Malcolm, Alan Grant are shown with flares once again. Thank God it's coming full circle. And then in a final shot after showing the T-Rex rampaging through some reports have said it's a city, some have said it's the same stuff from the Dominion prologue, but we don't know for sure. But either way, it does apparently show all five characters, those being Ian, Ellie, Claire, Alan, and Owen, all staring down a dinosaur, which some reports are saying is Rexy herself, which, oh my god, if it's like... That's a perfect nod to both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, as in Jurassic Park, the main character of that trilogy, Alan Grant, stared down the T-Rex with a flare in the storm. And for Jurassic World, the main character of this trilogy, Claire, is star was staring down Rexy as well with a flare. And now it's full circle. All of the main characters are staring down Rexy, with apparently some of them having flares, which will be amazing but guys that is all the news about this um apparent trailer which big things all characters are staring down rexy dilophosaurus confirmed atrociraptors chasing claire and possible return of the brachiosaurus as well as ellie sattler nearly being killed but what do you think about this I am very excited. The thing I'm most excited for is obviously the Dilophosaurus. It's one of my favorite dinosaurs in both real life and also in the franchise, and I cannot wait to see it return. I would love to see that moment from the novel where it kills an entry, except altered to be like, say, um, Lewis Dotson, as it'd be a perfect connection to both of them, but who knows how he'll be killed. But if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye